hi guys um, in this video I'm going to explain how the Azure Fix iCloud Bypass 2 is and then how we're going to review some of the options and we'll see how to use them so in the first few days I've been telling you we I'm going to drop you a tool that will help you to buy, uh, bypass the iCloud and still at the same time uh, to fix the cellular issue that is you have a full coverage of network and you can use the phone to browse and then to make call at the same time after the iCloud bypass because the previous uh, methods we've been using is that after you got your iPhone bypassed you won't be able to make call or to browse the internet so we promise to bring you a tool that will help you to fix those issues and finally we are able to come up with something that is usable now but we st we are still working on the tool to see how we we'll make things advance for the next time because um, there are some things we will be able to make upgrades to make it very simple so this is the tool here in order to use this tool there are some softwares you have to install on your system before you can use it to uh, the first important most important thing is that your PC must have iTunes installed so as you can see this PC have already installed iTunes then you need um, Python 2.3 no to Python 2.7 so I'm going to attach uh, software as in Python software according to your CPU architecture is either you're having touch 2-bit operating system or 64-bit operating system so it depends on your CPU I'm going to attach both touch 2-bit and 64-bit so you install the one that com that is compatible with your CPU so then again you need a software called putty putty so also I'm going to attach both touch 2-bit and 64-bit of uh, putty so that you install it those are the three softwares you must have on your system in order to avoid any error so as you can see there is a text file here a guide txt file that will also that I take a short review of the of how to use the tool on if you open the guide file you see bypass requirement that's the first section and then the step for iCloud bypass in the requ uh, bypass requirement I highlight the three software you need and then I give a note here telling you that extract the iCloud that is this one extract the iCloud to and copy to the C drive to avoid error so what we do here we already have our three softwares installed so the next thing is that we extract the iCloud to this is the iCloud to here we extract it so this is the folder the guide said which we should extract the to and copy the folder to the C drive so we copy the folder and then we open a new window we head to our C drive and then we paste and then we paste it here so let's head back to the guide and see so then after we extract the iCloud to and then copy it to the C drive we now move forward to the step for the iCloud bypass so let's see step one it said we should jailbreak our device so if you check on YouTube you find more than 100 videos by different people on how to bypass I uh, on how to jailbreak an iPhone so it differs if you have an, an iPhone 6 iPhone 5 iPhone 6 plus 6s 7 8 or X or XR so it depends on your phone if you find it very difficult to buy to jailbreak I advise you to go on YouTube search for the uh, tutorial that suits your device 
so you can also check our youtube channel we have uh, some videos we made on how to jailbreak an iPhone using a Windows PC so you can also go and check that on our YouTube channel so the first step is that you get your iPhone jailbroken so you have to jailbreak the device that is the first step and the note on using this tool is that your phone must be on password or iPhone disable before you can get the world process 100 percent done this is because we need the cellular file from that device when it is fully activated and then after the bypass we need to restore that cellular file into the phone before we get uh, our network back so that's why your phone must have to be on password or on password or should be iphone disabled so when the phone is on password that means it's fully activated because if you ins if you insert a sim card you're going to have your phone network you will be able to receive call and your data will be on that's why you will need to copy the cellular files when the phone is pre restored so your phone must be on password then you just break it when you just break the phone on the first step you head to the second step the second step says use option c to copy the cellular file option c is on our bypass tool so what we we'll do here is that we we'll go to our c drive where we copy the icloud to we'll open it you see an option here there are two folders there is a bad file here that said start and then there is a data folder which contains all our files needed as in the file needed for all the procedures so we we'll come to the start and we we'll either run it as admin or we we'll double click for it to open so when we open the file we see a two uh window shell pops up the first one is the first uh, the first one serves for the local host server which redirect to our apple device and the other one have a very uh, different options uh, from a to e which a is for icloud bypass for the for I, ios 13.2.3 lower and then the b option for 13.3.1 upper so if your device is running ios lower then you're going for um, the option a if your I, uh, if your iphone device is running ios 13.1 13.3.1 upper then you're going for the option b that's for the icloud bypass then the other option says for call and data then there is a note attached to it that said it only works on disabled passcode devices that is before you restore the iphone then option c says cellular files that's copy cellular files that means if we if you read the guide here on the guide it says use the option c to copy the cellular and on the two here we see the option c says copy cellular files so we're going to use the option c to copy our cellular files and then option d to write back the cellular files into the phone then we'll have uh, full coverage so this uh, main video we use it to we use the video to review how the two work and what option we got on the two before we um I, I, i'm going to make another video that we use an iphone device and i'll demonstrate everything on the two here to show you how things work and how we're going to use the two so if we let me explain something on the data folder so the start is like the run-up so the start will run up um that's like we brought all the other option the copy we have independent files and commands that tell the tool to do a certain thing on our i device like if we want to get the cellular file there is a certain command that we need to run uh, that we need to run on our cmd to get those files but we now make it very easier for you guys to instead of you to run a multiple of two and multiple of quotes on your cmd we simple we simply make those quotes into uh, a single program that all you need to do is type uh, is 
type the letter and then the uh, computer can run the uh, can run the script on the background and make everything let me show you what i was trying to explain if you open the data folder here you see other files like all these uh, send file one send file two uh, get file magic file and all these um txt file and we still are have all these bat file that said 13.2.3 minus 13.3.2 plus so all these things all what this things does is that this it contains the instruction um that the it contains the instruction sent to the phone to get the file we needed so like this let's open up this and see like this 13.2.3 when you use if you could remember if you use this out too and You come to this is an option point two point three. This is thirteen point two point three lower. If you just tap a, what the two does that it check into our data folder and then look up for this thirteen point two point three minus. Then if we if we open the thirteen point two point three minus here, this is what we get. We get start putty dot exe, then root at the local host. So all these things is just a set of program that will make it to uh, make the to work very easy for you guys. So you don't need to go to um, putty shell and input all this code. It's going to make everything as easy as possible. You just tap the option and click on enter. It's going to run everything. So start putty and then run the server, input the password and then <coughs> it will now refast the two back to uh, the 13.2.3 down txt so in the two we see this this is the text file that is 13.2.3 down exe if you open the two you see all the command that say it mount the um, device and get this uh, and get into this uh, directory on our on our iPhone <coughs> and then it remove the setup dot app uh, setup dot bak then it killed the back boss that is this um the command behind deleting the icloud login setup on our phone so if you take a look on the two by yourself you come to understand how everything work here it's easy as that so this video is uh, a video on just to review the two and how the two work in the next video i'm going to use um an i on uh, a i'm going to use a high iphone to demonstrate all what i've been saying in this video so see you in the next video